people are so rude i got the rudest neighbors sounds like a derby car going off really they're just fixing up a car that they do the same car over and over and over again and it's annoying to hear but dude we're trying you got people sleeping you got me trying to watch tv like you're louder than my tv you asshole It's like, quit trying to make my neighborhood the ghetto. Because it's not the hood, it's not the ghetto. Who are nice people that like to keep our yard nice and clean? Not trashy. So, all you people out there that decided to do the uh, concert, you know, drive through concert, and had to pay all that money to go see them live, guess what? We get to see it for free at home on his Facebook Live. And these are better seats. Comfort of my own home. And I thank Billy Gilman for doing this for us. Fans that couldn't afford to go. Thank you. You are awesome. So I'm going to enjoy the show. Do you really think Billy Gilman has time to reach out while he's up on stage singing? Do you really think... He's going to take song requests when he already has a playlist a playlist set in stone of what he's going to sing and that he's been practicing probably all week to make sure he gets the order correctly and stuff. Like, come on now. Why are you in chat going, you should play this song, you should play that song, you should play this song. Um, one, he's not reading chat, and two, um, excuse me. He's already got a place list set in stone. He's not going to change it because you want a certain song. You can say, I hope he sings that song. And I hope he does. So, yeah. So my aunt showed this message that I don't know if you can see. But I'll read it to you. It says, attention customers stop and read. These in our lovely government have ordered all persons entering indoor faculties to wear a mask. If you have a medical issue that prevents you from wearing a mask, we are not allowed to discriminate against you to, due to the HIPAA and the ADA, whatever that means. We cannot legally ask you about your medical condition. Therefore, if we see you without a mask, we will assume you have a medical condition and we will welcome you inside to support our business. Yeah, but the thing is, people could be walking into your fucking shop or your fucking business and not wear a mask because they don't want to. And they can lie and say, oh, medical condition, your sign says medical, you know, you need to just say, if it's a medical condition and we see you without a mask, we will kindly ask you if you have paperwork that states that this is a, that, from your doctor that says can't wear because of medical, it's a medical condition. You use your proof. If you don't show proof, then you have to wear a mask because people could lie and say, yeah, medical condition, <laughs> I'm getting, I'm totally getting away with it because she thinks it's a medical condition when really I just don't want to wear a mask. Because, hello dumbass, have you not watched the news? People are not wearing masks because they don't want to. Not because of medical, can, not because of medical condition. So, yeah. I wouldn't just welcome them in because they could have the virus and give it to everybody there. Wear a mask, save a life. So this guy on this show sounds just like the guy in Jackbox from the game called You Don't Know Jack that I just played last Friday in a Twitch room. Listen. Continue to sing the praises. 
news of all that is whacked in the whacked out world of sports. Let's get cranking. Who can resist a good multi-car pile-up? But sometimes the coolest crashes involve only one car. Well, I hope you get the idea.